Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk real briefly about why you don't feel loved. Did you know that a lot of you do not feel loved? You may know you're loved in your head, but you don't feel it in your heart. And this is one of the reasons why, probably the main reason. So why you don't feel loved, the bottom line is that you are hiding yourself. You are hiding from love because you are afraid of being wounded. You're afraid of sharing and feeling ashamed. You are afraid of sharing something and being rejected. You're afraid of showing your true self and having something happen again that has already happened to you in your past that you've said, I will never let that happen again. So you're hiding yourself, you're denying yourself, you're denying your heart, you're denying your needs, you're denying that you need love. So you're saying, no, 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 I don't need that, I'm not going to do that. You're doing also what Romans talks about, suppressing the truth. You know how God's judgment is coming for those who suppress the truth? Well, when we do this, we're suppressing the truth. No, I'm not going to show it. No, I'm not going to let it out. See, this is why you don't feel loved. You're also living in lies. These are lies here. Okay, when you suppress the truth, that means the truth is not evident. So what's going to be there if the truth is not there? It's not truth. It's the opposite of truth. Lies, deception, smoke and mirrors, mind games, all that. So we're living in lies. And in all of these choices that we're making that are mostly fear-based, right? They're fear-based. We're going to reap what we sow by the choices that we make, right? Well, here's a little picture, a little diagram for you. If you are this little blade of grass over here, and this is the Lord, say, the love of God. Say the sun represents the love of God. And that love is shining down. And you are a little blade of grass, and you're over here, and you're hiding behind this big oak tree. It's a big tree, and it's in the way, and you are hiding behind it. So what are you in when you're hiding from God's love? You're going to be in the shadows, right? You're not going to, that that love is not going to reach you, and you're not going to be able to receive that light and that love because you're living in the shadows where there's no light or not enough light for you, and there's no love. So when we choose to hide ourselves from the source of love and light, then we are going to reap what we sow living in fear, right? So we're not going to feel loved. We're not going to feel cared for. There's not going to be any joy in our lives. There's not going to be peace. There's going to be the secret misery that we carry around all the time. So what this little blade of grass needs to do is, if it had legs like we do, it could walk over here and be planted right here so that it could receive the love and the light and the provision of God. So how do we do that? How do we, if we were a little blade of grass, how would this manifest? How would this flesh out in our lives for us to move from the shadows over into the light? Well, first thing you would do is you would acknowledge that this is where you are. Lord, I've had a life of, of heartache and pain and chaos and trauma. And yes, I'm hiding because I don't want to feel that anymore. And I'm willing to be alone and miserable so that I don't have to go through that ever again. Maybe that's what you're saying to yourself. So you're hiding yourself. Lord, I'm hiding myself. I'm denying myself. I'm denying my heart. In this denial, I've really divorced part of myself, and I'm divided on the inside, and that makes me weak and unstable. I'm suppressing the truth, Lord. I'm living in lies. Help me. I'm in the dark. I want to come and be in the light. You may have already been transferred from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light, but that's on a spiritual level. This is on a day-to-day -day mental, emotional level and a, uh, making human choices in the time-space dimension level. 
So what you're going to do is acknowledge where you are. Say, yes, I'm in the dark. I'm in the shadows. I want to relocate myself in a way that would be uh, gradual and safe and kind of like building one brick at a time. It would be a slow, safe process. And what you could do is get with the Lord on this and ask him where he would rather you be and where he would have you to go. So if you have one friend that is an authentic believer, that is a huge blessing. What you want to do is start to move slowly in your life by each decision you make toward the healthy, safe, authentic members of the body of Christ. You have to look for them and find them and the Lord will lead you to these people because they are filled with him. They listen to him. They do his will for the most part, okay? So he will show you how to relocate, relocate yourself one little step at a time to where safe, authentic members of the body of Christ are. You can start with going to Cross Current. You could then go to Living Waters. You can come to, um, you could go to any type of AA meeting and just be a fly on the wall, sit in the back for a few weeks till you get comfortable. You could come to any of my classes if you're local. There are a lot of groups that you can go to, Grief Share, Divorce Care. They have these AA, uh, sex addiction, uh, food addiction, shopping addiction, uh, groups and classes all over the country, all over the world. And so you can always go to those to have a community where people are being authentic and getting healing. So that's mainly what you're going to do is acknowledge where you are and tell the Lord that you want to move into the light. You're ready to tiptoe into the light. You're ready to be loved. You're ready to trust him to lead you to healing. That's what you want. You want to trust him to lead you to healing. And the whole time you're doing this, you're going to want to guard your heart. That means protect your heart. That means don't take things personally. That means when someone's speaking, you recognize that, that those words are coming out of that person's heart. They have nothing to do with you. Those words are in their hula hoop and they're revealing what's in their heart. When you speak, what is in your heart is coming out. So th that all relates to boundaries. And if you want to learn more about boundaries or grow in boundaries, you can uh, look online. There's all kinds of courses, videos, articles. I also have on this channel on the playlist tab um, down toward the bottom is eight an eight class boundaries course, which is each lesson is abbreviated 30 minutes. So you can watch that as well. But I would I acknowledge where you are and tell the Lord that you want to move from the shadows more into the light, that you're ready to be loved, that you, you're ready to heal just one little baby step at a time, and then listen and do what he tells you to do. And the more you hear and the more you do what he says, the more he'll give you. Okay, so I hope that's helpful. There is a reason why you don't feel loved, and it's because you're hiding from love and you're living in shadows. And so it's time, the Lord is saying, to come out from the shadows and to trust the Lord to lead you to places where there is healing and authenticity and safety and love where you will be respected, you will be honored, you will be appreciated, and you will find healing. All right, so I hope that's helpful. And I'll see you next time.